everyone how all are you i hope you would all be fit and fine so welcome back to my channel so today i am i am here with a new chapter with a new learning for you that is food and drinks i hope you all like your food and drinks you all like your food you all are enjoying your food and with that let's just do some uh, learn basic things which we have which which we doesn't know in our seven about them so let's just start here and uh, i have written something here to give you some knowledge about that just have a look on the board but i have written that is chapter food and drinks uh, first of all the word is written breakfast so let me tell you the pronunciation of it it's breakfast not break fast it's not fast it's breakfast Normally eat in your breakfast. It's in India. We generally uh, we generally take tea, some with some bread. Or uh, if bread is not there, we would take rusk. If rusk is not there, we would take biscuit. There is a lots of things which we can in our breakfast. Okay. So I have written some breakfast thing here. Let's just have a look on that. Uh, some are written as tea, bread, butter, and egg. So I have written here now brunch. And what is now brunch? Have you ever heard heard this word? What is brunch? So let me tell you. You take your break. Let uh, for example, you take your breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning. And you, if you are taking your uh, breakfast at seven o'clock, then it must that you are waking up at five or five thirty or six, because only only then you can take the breakfast at seven a.m. So. Uh, then you would uh, and then what is the time for lunch? The the lunch time is twelve to one. So if from seven to twelve to or one, you would might get very much hungry. For that, if you are eating something between your uh, breakfast and your lunch, then what would we call that? That is called brunch. And uh, yeah, and for lunch there are three things. We have I have written here something. Standard main course and dessert. What is dessert? Dessert are the sweet dishes which we eat after our dinner, after our lunch, for making us more happy of having something in our stomach. So first of all, we would start with a starter. Now, what is a starter? A starter can be a salad, it can be a soup, it can be porridge. But do you know what is porridge? Porridge can be anything which is semi-solid type. For example, in our India, khichdi is prepared. That can be called as porridge. So we would take first of all starter. A starter I have told you that can be salad or it can be soup. And after that, that is main course. In main course, which what do we do generally eat? We eat chapati, we eat veggie, we eat the uh, pulses, we eat uh, rice with them, and also some salad and with water or with water. And it can be anything, but do you want to take them? And after then, we take dessert. In dessert, it can be anything. Uh, it can be chocolate. It can be fruit. Uh, it can be sweet ball. It can be anything. But you like for your dessert. After that, after lunch, what we take? We uh, at twelve to one. What we take? We eat dinner at eight or eight uh, thirty or nine in the night. So now it is the similar. Uh, dinner is uh, very much similar to the lunch because for dinner we first uh, eat starter. But now here is the starter can be anything. Can be soup. It can be porridge. Uh, after that, that can be main course. Main course would be similar as the lunch here. And after that, dessert. Dessert can be anything. And now what? We would not feel any hunger between one to eight or something like that. As for breakfast and lunch, we would we we would not be must because there is there is seven to eight hours between the lunch and the dinner. So what do we call that food which we eat between the lunch and the dinner? That is called supper. But but that's called that is called supper, which is written here. Supper is the food. Uh, it can be the snack which we are taking between the lunch and the. Dinner. It can be at three, four, it, uh, at four, five. Uh, the time when you feel hungry, you can eat your snack or supper. And for supper, what do you take generally? You can eat. Uh, you can have your tea and with some snack, biscuit, and whatever you want. And then 
after you get your dinner so i have told you about these things i have to what what I, did i tell you i tell you about the breakfast i tell you about the lunch i tell you about the uh, brunch i have told you about the dinner and also the supper i hope that you all these things got in your mind and let me just tell you some more words which are related to your foods that is it's your tongue do you know that uh, your tongue detect different different uh, taste at different different location so let me just tell you uh, here our tongue detect bitter taste it's bitter part of our tongue it's sour part here our tongue detect Shorty things, and here the sweet, the sweet part. Here our tongue detect the sweetness. So I think you get this now. New words that is insipid and pungent. Um, now, what does this word mean? Insipid. Insipid is that when we some uh, you know that when we get some illness or when we get some uh, disease we we do not get uh, we do not we do not able to taste anything uh, we just uh, lost our taste uh, taste buds or our taste bud get covered by some things which do not let us to make us any feel that we we are eating something and that thing also does uh, contain the taste so that thing called insipid does not have any taste here pungent now what is pungent uh, you all i am sure that 